Here's where records get broken. Tonight, Lunton threw for 590. That's a state record by a yard. Zach Grant caught 20 passes. That's a state record by a catch. His 342 yards receiving, easily a state record. If you ask Wes Lunt and Zach Grant what's allowed them to post eye-popping numbers this season, you won't get very sexy answers. It definitely starts with the coaches and uh, how hard we prepare. Coach prepares us pretty well. We put a lot of work in over the summer and uh, seven on seven. Work over the summer. Uh... It was almost every day we'd be outside. Plus, Zach's a great receiver and he gets open. Knowing that we're best friends too, that, that helps it out. While their humble, soft-spoken responses don't shine a light on how good they've been, their coach doesn't hesitate to put their accomplishments into the proper perspective. Uh, people have just been lucky if you've been able to watch those two play. Um, you know, you've, you, you've seen a, you know, a very rare thing and a very extraordinary thing. What really they've done in a half a year is scary. I mean, that's probably the best uh, combo I've seen in high school, maybe ever. The two have rewritten the record books despite the fact that Lunton missed the first four weeks of the season with a broken foot. In the six games that he's been back, he's thrown for almost 2,200 yards. That's an average of 361 yards per game. And if you multiply that times 10, the number of games he should have played at this point, He'd be 10th on the single season passing list in the state. Both Lunt and Grant admit they wonder what might have been with a full season under their belt. Yeah, I do sometimes. Uh, you know, it would have been nice to have him those first uh, four weeks. So yeah, I do, of course. I mean, obviously, but uh, you can't anymore. Now it's the playoffs. But neither admit to checking what records are still there to be broken. Uh, I haven't yet. No, actually, I haven't. Grant has managed to climb the state's record books anyway. His 1,575 receiving yards are tied for third on the all-time single-season list. He'd move into second with 57 yards against Mantino on Saturday, and he'd need 667 yards before the season's end to take first place away from SHG graduate Mike Pilger. Grant's 91 catches have him at 10th on the single-season list. If he caught nine balls or his season average on Saturday, he would move up to fifth, and his 19 touchdowns are tied for 14th most in a season, with eight more, he would move into first place on that list as well. To do that, the Rockets likely need to play in all four of the remaining potential games on their schedule, the first of which will be played against a Mantino team this weekend who also takes pride in their passing game. You know, it's a little scary. They're a very explosive team, and our defense is going to have to do a great job, and we're going to, as offense, we're going to have to put points on the board. It's going to be a long game, we know that, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be a game where you you know, you might bend a little bit, but you can't bend. Personally, I, you know, I like the pressure. I think it makes a little bit of things, uh, makes things more interesting and makes things more fun. At Rochester High School, Zach Kirker, Channel1450.com.